Hey Daiwa fans, Mark Mills here. I'm the field marketing manager here for Daiwa and actually here for the 2020, we're not gonna have an iCast show. Uh, so what we decided to do for all the 20 and 21 products is come down here to the boat, kind of show you what we got going on. We've been showing you some reels. Uh, now we're gonna start showing you some rods. Uh, this is a new rod series uh, that we developed. It's mainly an East Coast rod series. This is a new dark water, so all the actions are really directed toward the East Coast fishery. Uh, from sailfish to kingfish to even some of the offshore actions. It's a 21 series rod seri uh, series. It actually, inside of that, it has kingfish, sailfish, and your offshore rods. Um, what we're gonna go through is, uh, you know, it's called dark water, very cool looking, good design on it. It's a flat black blank. Um, the sailfish rods that we have all have a cool sailfish logo on them. Uh, the kingfish rods, all have kingfish logo on them and all the offshore rods both the spinning and the conventional rods all have uh, dorado mahi mahi or dolphin fish on them um, what makes this rod special is that it's got a numerous sets of of different guide trains depending on what we're fishing so on the sailfish models um, you're going to see a different guide train uh, to make the rod lighter on the kingfish rattles you're going to see a little bit heavier guide train a little bit heavier guide series on it uh, for the durability and then also you're going to see that same type of guide train uh, on the offshore models that'll protect you from dropping it on the deck or on the boat or anything like that um, what's awesome is that these real rods are extremely lightweight um, and a lot of people say that and you're like wow they're extremely lightweight well they use light guides you can see we're using a very heavy guide here but this rod weighs almost nothing at all it feels really good and you can see how small the blanks are this is our x45 construction now you can't see the internal workings of it because it is a flat black painted blank but that x45 does a couple different things one we can layer it to make a much thinner rod with the same amount of power but what we can also do is it resists ovalization so if you think of a straw and when you bend a straw the straw tends to bend like this that x45 doesn't allow that to happen so it gives you more strength more durability and actually if you're doing any type of casting it gives you better accuracy in your casting and you'll see that stuff on bass rods where you're casting a lot but on the saltwater rods it gives you a thinner blank more durability and everything else we also use our hv high volume graphite on, on there and what that is it's, that's what really gives it the lightness because it's a very high volume graphite uh, not a lot of resin uh, that resin gives you weight uh, the graphite actually reduces so that's what gives you the lightweight so you're going to see here um, on the uh, like this rod here this is actually the kingfish rods the kingfish rods and the sailfish rods Instead of using a, like a nylon slick butt where you've got to put a lot of tape and there's a lot of weight around it, we've used a nice, cool looking carbon fiber butt cap. This really reduces a lot of the weight. It still slides in and out of the rod holders nicely, um, but it has a better look to it and it's a lot more effective. Um, you're also gonna see that we have rubber gimbals. Uh, this here is a graphite gimbal, but we have rubber gimbals on some of the other rods here um, with a rubber butt cap. So this here is the kingfish rod on the sailfish rod, very, very similar scenario. You've got, so if you're you know, fishing for a kite and you got your rod holders and you're working for baits or something like that, slides in and out real easy. We got prospect rods in this as well. Um, but this is actually has a rubber butt cap on it as well. Um, so it feels good. Long, hard EVA foregrips. So they are hard, they're very durable, uh, feel good on your hands. But this is our dark water series by Daiwa. And like I said, mainly East Coast action. So they're gonna be somewhat parabolic, much different than the West Coast in California. That lots a lot of really stiff rods, uh, quick actions. These are a little slower actions. Um, you're gonna find spinning rods, conventional rods, tournament kingfish and tournament sailfish in this rod series, dark water by Daiwa. Hi Daiwa fans, for all our 20 and 21 new product showcase introductions, go to daiwaproductshowcase.com.